rhythm has always been an important part of my life, be it the dance floor or with my laptop. I have always had equal passion for both dancing and my coding, and I did not want to make any choice between the two. The best part is that all our managers come to watch all our dance shows. What more can I ask for, yeah? Managers coming to watch your dance show after all. When I joined Yahoo, I was expecting better things in my life. And did it happen? Yes, it did. Be it the cool technology we work on or the global products which we develop and deploy. It is one exciting step after another. I work for Yahoo Sports, which is the global number one in its category. And I feel so proud to be a part of this team. Uh, my team is always pushing me to do my best. What I mean is we work like a startup does together, you know, always. And that's the most enjoyable part. And it shows in the results that we produce. All my friends think Yahoo is like super cool. <laughs> In 2005, I led a team of 300 students to enter into the Guinness Book of World Records. They skipped a single rope 12 consecutive times and made a mark on the global map. In 2006, when I came to Yahoo, that spirit was rekindled. So some bat on the field and some bat off it. As the product manager for Yahoo Cricket, it has been an incredible experience for me to deliver a global product that touched the lives of millions of cricket enthusiasts all over the world. Yahoo is a unique place to work at. Where else can you lead a corporate cricket team to 6-7 victories in a year? Plus, lead a product to a superstar victory which is viewed by 550 million users in 51 nations. Where else? It is Yahoo. So when I joined Yahoo as a young product manager about 6.5 years ago, the dynamism and creativity of this place simply amazed me. And that was actually a result of the amazing risk taking that Yahoo really uh, festers in its organizational spirit and really allows uh, employees to go after. So within six months of joining I, joining, I was actually put onto this project which was supposed to deliver millions of dollars of revenues for Yahoo. I was actually able to deliver the project successfully. I hope that I have managed to imbibe some of those qualities in me and I can actually encourage and mentor other product managers to deliver similar value for Yahoo. It's been an amazing time I've spent at Yahoo. I, I grew to be a principal engineer now and have been working on one of the largest private clouds on the web. The best part is about the whole complexity and scale challenges that I get to face every day in the company. I've been to a bunch of hack days. It's like I uh, have attended about 15 hack days around the world. And the best part of these hack days is all about the energy that you see amongst the crowd, amongst the developers that gather all around. Uh, you get to work with smartest developers in the world uh, under one roof at that time. The hack days are best times in my life at Yahoo. Hack days is all about innovation and a can-do attitude. One of the companies who promotes accessibility at a larger scale. We will make sure that all our products, Yahoo homepage, news, mail, finance, weather, and many more, and even the mobile applications, are accessible to everyone, including people with uh, disabilities. Uh, we work very closely with the developers, quality engineers, and everybody in the company uh, to ensure our products works for all. And we actually use the standards uh, set by World Wide Web Consortium. See, it's moving, right? It's moving, it's moving. Yeah. Great, man. Great. <laughs>
The best part, and which is very close to my heart, is that I end up working with the chief Yahoo or the founder of Yahoo, David Filo himself. I also manage with the Women in Tech initiative at Yahoo. And we bring women tech together, we empower them, we network them, we get them uh, the platform that they need to do well in their careers. The thing about campus recruits is you, you expect a big break from college to work and most of it is not good. I had lots of freedom in college, I won't have it here. I mean, it, you get additional responsibility, but it's it's not all bad. For example, the project I worked on last was a was a real engineering problem. A problem where uh, you have billions of users who are affected. There's very little time to fix the problem. And if you don't fix it, people will complain. But it was a really good project and uh, it exposed me to Yahoo scale. Just seeing it is different from being exposed to it. So I was exposed to these numbers every day because I was part of Toolbar's instrumentation. In college, you always work with for yourself. You just do a project for yourself and you're happy if it works. You don't care. Well, maybe you just do it to show it to your friends. That's it, 10 people. Now just think about what, what a big leap it is from 10 to even 1,000. And now this is like 1,000 into 1,000 into 1,000 into 1,000. So that's what we're talking about. Apart from work, work, I fancy myself as a bit of a writer. Even at Yahoo, I get lots of opportunities to explore my writing. So there are all, all kinds of contests happening. I get to write about what I do. First thing is I'm doing what I love and I'm also writing about what I love and I love that too.